So now in this video, we have a circuit where the LED gets brighter as the light falling on the light dependent resistor there goes down. And uh, as the light increases on the light dependent resistor, the LED gets dimmer. So now zoom in on the schematic I drew a while ago. Uh, primarily we have the NPN bipolar junction transistor right here. I'm using the 2N2222 and that is the uh, pin layout. If it's a NPN bipolar junction transistor or even a PNP and it starts with 2N, this will probably be the uh, pin layout. And uh, so left pin is emitter, middle pin base, right pin collector, if you didn't happen to know the names already. And uh, so bottom pin there, because it's face to the right, is uh, the emitter, middle pin is the base, and top pin is the collector. And we put the load on the collector side right there. This is wired as a current source. We have a resistor there. So being an NPN bipolar junction transistor, the uh, voltage that you give to the base will be 0.6 volts less at the emitter and uh, so that's going to build up that voltage most of the power coming from the collector side right there but it's going to give you that voltage and i uh, see so you take the voltage at this point which is uh, that voltage minus 0.6 and you divide it by 220 ohms so if we got 2.2 volts at this point you divide it by 220 ohms that would give you 10 milliamps of current right there and that would light the LED up. Now, of course, we got the resistance there. Uh, so voltage can't build up at this point more than what is being dropped by the LED. So we got five volts at the supply. You drop two volts, we can expect a maximum of uh, three volts at this uh, point. So we can get a little bit more than 10 milliamps of current, uh, but that is going to be our limit. And to set the uh, voltage, we have a voltage divider right there. We have a fixed resistor and then a light dependent resistor. So its resistance, the light dependent resistors, is going to change based on how much light is falling on it. And if we get it, uh, you know, completely dark, as we saw before, um, in this case, the LED gets the brightest. That's because we turn the transistor on about as uh, good as we can. So you can imagine the schematic here. If we get rid of this, we have a direct connection to the five volts right there. It's gonna limit current though, of course. Um, but uh, in any case, we you know get uh, five volts at that point and it transfers over. But again, we are gonna have a power drop due to the LED. So ultimately we won't get 4.4 uh, .4 volts across here. Um, but in any case, we'll get the transistor to turn on pretty much fully. The LED is going to drop some voltage though. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, when there's enough light, as uh, there is now, uh, falling on the light dependent uh, resistor, it uh, pulls the voltage down, you know, to uh, zero volts if it is uh, bright enough for the most part, well below the 0 .6, 0 0.7 volts that you need to uh, start uh, getting conduction there. So that will turn the transistor off. It won't let current flow and thus the LED will not light up. And now we got uh, my pocket oscilloscope there. You can see the uh, power supply got set to 5 volts right now. It's about 3 milliamps of current based on this light level. But if I cover the light pin or resistor with my hand, we can get about 10 milliamps of current, which was uh, close to the maximum I said uh, we would be able to get. So we'll zoom in and uh, you can see uh, this is the voltage across the current setting resistor, as I said uh, before. Now it goes up. And uh, so we got, you know, somewhere about uh, three volts maximum, slightly above that, that we can put across the resistor, as I said uh, before. So now I'm at the base and you can see that it is a bit higher right there. Again, we had that uh, voltage drop, as I said uh, before. So that was uh, with uh, at the base and now that is at the emitter, you know, about, you know, a little more than half of a volt below the uh, voltage you can give to the base but remember the LED drops about uh, two volts so that's going to uh, limit it but uh, in any case there you can see now we got about 11 milliamps of current there approximately as I said before we're gonna max out about uh, probably uh, somewhere close to 10 milliamps of current a little bit more than uh, 10 and uh, so not going to go over that anymore. This video went on long enough. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.